B. Actually, it's a start button. No. Listen. Angel I, Land story. I am, I am a little excited. Even hearing the music, I get excited for this. Do you like this game? I like this, but I grew up with the Game Boy version of oh, Myths, Myths and, Monsters, and Monsters, which is the sequel that's not a sequel. Well. Because the U.S. branch made it, so I, the Japanese branch keeps ignoring it. I liked that one, but I did not play it as much as this. I love that one to pieces. I, I tried playing this as a kid. I couldn't figure it out. I it's could hard. only get to like one, two, one, three. It's hard. And then that's I got through I the here. Game Boy one, because the Game Boy one lets you fall down. Yes. Because you well, can actually trap, travel up and down. This one lets you fall. In <laughs> fact, that's going to be probably the way you die the most, is falling. <laughs> yeah. So everyone wanted this right after Super Mario 3, and I can't believe it, but here we are. This is a game, really, when I say this is a game of my childhood, I mean that me and my brother bought graph paper by the dozens <laughs> to map out every single map that was here and try to figure out this damn game. Are you ready to start? I'm going to help. Man. John's got the motor skills that I don't have, and I've got the knowledge. So we're going to get the best ending, right? Well, let's do it. It's yeah. not easy to you gotta, do. you got to do, like, five specific things. It's not easy to do, but There's I'm going to try to... Four, pretty much. I'm going to try to help you. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, does there no, like, story thing that pops Nothing. Up? Okay. This game gives you nothing. Or and start button. You might as well do it. Is it not working? I pressed every button, but just because oh I want to see if I could. <laughs> I want to okay. see what would work. So this uses a password system like Metroid. Yep. Um... And like Metroid, it has like super funny passwords you could enter for like stupid scenarios. I don't know if they work on the Switch version or not. I think I was reading up and like the Wii Virtual Console version for some reason changed the password the slightly. The NES version has a ton of funny passwords you can do just like Metroid did with like Justin actually, Bailey and all that crap. Actually, but, like, I'm curious. I wonder if this what, if everyone's favorite password works. What, for... it, what? 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 What's the favorite password? So the ones that I know of, there's one called, like, Danger Don't, with all exclamation points. Oh, God, and that's not going to work. I want to know, I want to know if it works. I want to know what not, it does. It's not going to work. This is not, this is not going to work. This is a real password you can type into Metroid, by Oh, absolutely. The way. Mother brain. No, it's fucker. Is it actually? It actually is. Oh, this one I don't know. This this is a password that actually works in the original Metroid. Metroid is not the, I mean, that was also a game that we graphed out, but was I good at it? No. Nope. Shocking. Yeah. Oh, and now I gotta actually reset. Hang on. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but hey, it's Kid Icarus. It does have... Hey, <laughs> my favorite. This is literally one of my favorite games. All right, let's do it. All right, so this game is strange in the fact that the makers of this figured... Forget the side-scrolling that everyone else is doing. We're gonna make it vertical because that's what we gotta do. But in theory, if you know the story about this... It makes sense. You start in the underworld, and no one tells you anything. You don't even know that that's where you are right now. But this is this is literally called 1-1, the underworld. It's only written in the manuals. So, uh, these are shaman that are falling down, and you're going to see them a lot. They come out of everywhere. <laughs> this is a vertical scrolling game, but it's also horizontal in that if you have the means, you can go, like, wrap around from left to right. Yeah, which we have to do, like, You right do need here. to go in that door. I know. I'm just showing okay, this Okay, sorry. Off. I was... Relax. Don't worry. Okay, Girl, I know I'm... what I'm doing. We're gonna get the best ending, John. <laughs> There's nothing in this door. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you need to... Oh, you need to enter it. So, we're gonna... T uh, how do I talk about this all at once? This is empty all the time when you start a new game. There's no way for anything here to appear. It's only for when you do a new game plus if something appears here. Um, Does this have new game plus? Yes. Oh, I never knew that. Yes, it does. So that if you didn't get the best ending on your first go around, when you start another game and continue from your save spot that was uh, beating the game, you start with all your weapons and all your powers. And, uh, and then you go through and just get the stuff you missed. So this game has no direction. <laughs> it starts you off with probably people think this is like the hardest of the, the levels are in the start. And then they get easier as you go, which is a little bit weird, but it's true. Um, there's a danger of falling, there's a danger of shit coming at you from all directions, which it does. Things like steal your items, the, the game is not nice. It's not a nice game. Those are mono eyes, I believe is what they're called. I don't remember the names of all of the things, but this is already taking me, like, way back. The game has a skills point kind of, uh, rating that it doesn't tell you about, and it also has a score. If you hit pause, you can see the score. So our score is 4,300 currently. We've got 63 hearts. Right. Our so, endurance is our HP and our strength is our strength. So there's two things you can do in this game. You get score, which gives you more uh, endurance, which yep. is more health. And then there's a skill point set, which they don't talk about and no one knows about it unless you know the game. And that's kind of tied into your hearts, kind of not. Hearts are money. 
essentially. But getting hearts, killing enemies, grabbing items, these all count as, like, skill points. That are kind of- it's a hidden stat that you don't really know about unless you're just kind of paying attention. So, like, there's all kinds of things in Kid Icarus that you can do to get skill. Uh, one path has a door. Is it- It should be that one? It should be over here, right? Oh, I hope you're right. There's the Reaper. Okay, there's we'll talk door. about him later. Are you gonna do this? Well, if I know what it is, hang on. Do -do 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 -do. I want these guys to come down so I can get some more points, but they're being joiks. Joiks! Small hearts are worth one. Half hearts are worth... Okay, do you know what to do in here? I mean, shoot. Basically, stand on the bottom and shoot left to right until you get most of them, and then when it's less uh, dangerous, you can go up and get the rest, because they kind of go follow a pattern. You see that? Yeah! These are called spec noses. Uh -oh. I wonder why. You're right, you're right. I think I got one HP left. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. You can do this. You got you got this. You're not gonna die, Johnny. <laughs> I gotta make sure I gotta make it to the, the wine. I gotta get pit drunk! Oh my god! So there's like I said, every time you kill an enemy, you're getting hidden skill points, okay? Every time you collect a heart, you're getting hidden skill points as well. Every time you fire an arrow, you get you lose skill points. <laughs> every time you enter a door, and the game does not tell you this. <laughs> There's the health I need, but it's being guarded by the Grim Reaper. Do you know how to do this guy? So he's always gonna turn twice. Or you could just grab it. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> this is the best music <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Every time you get hit by something, you lose skill. Just letting you know. I think it's like 100 for defeating an enemy that drops a small heart, 300 for an enemy that drops a half, and so on and so forth, 500 for defeating an enemy. Oh, oh okay. It's time for this. All right. Oh my god, there's so much to talk about in the start. This is a gambling mini game, basically, where it costs, like, I think five hearts to break each pot. Mm -hmm. But if you break them all, you get a super powerful item. It also costs How skill. Yeah. <laughs> However, uh, there is a hidden mini demon or okay. mini reaper inside one of these. I'm going to help you with this. But there is a trick to There's actually trick. get it. This every is time. world one. Yep. And it's different with every one of them, by the way. In world one, you have to hit a certain pots, three only, the top left. Top left. Left. Top left. Is it three? I thought it was four. Nope. Top the, left. And then the bottom. Oh, the, don't get the item, by the way. Do no, not get the no, item. No, no, no. Middle, middle left, which is number three, I believe. That yeah. is not middle left. What? One, two, three, middle. The ground doesn't count. Okay, so John did it wrong. That's okay. It's supposed to be the one right below the one you did. One, three, and eight. It goes one, two, three, four, five, are, six. Are you seven, sure? Eight. I'm positive. I'm almost positive. Okay, so what's the other one I'm supposed to break? Well, now we can guess, because there was... There was no, there's four specific ones you're supposed to break, and it's guaranteed. It's or only, is it three? It's only three. It is only three? Okay, so what's the one? I'm, what's the other one I'm supposed to break, then, if I did one wrong? Um. Well, you're all right, so that one, the one you're facing. This one? Yep. Okay, one so mallet. One, one hammer, so it's so the, the count of hammers, it's right? It's the count of hammers. So, oh, I'm trying to think now. So, you break one, three, and eight in world one. And then if you have one hammer, which we do, it, it's it's like the <laughs> we <laughs> determine. I believe if it's one hammer, then he's up in the top right. I think that's the where very he top is. Right? I think so. Oh, now I've now I've done it because I said right, that I'm, I knew this. All right, I'm trying it. Oh, I hope that I'm right. Don't grab any. Until... The very top right, you're thinking? I think so. You are correct. Ah, uh, yeah! It got, oh, you got a barrel! That's really good to get, actually. That's probably one of the best things to get. Once you get your secret item, then you can collect everything. Um, the barrel holds potions. Normally, you get a potion as an item, but if you don't have the barrel, you can only hold one at a time. The barrel lets you hold up to eight, which you're gonna need. Yeah, so that's why it's down there in my hood. It's now. also the most expensive <clears throat> thing to buy. In the black market. It's pretty damn expensive. So you got a really good item for free. I've well also done. got 10 hammers, which if I hit select... Don't do that. Oh, that's do, later. You oh. can't do that here. Oh, you can't do that in this? Ah, uh, no, you can do that whenever you want the Game Boy one. No, because there's no Centurions here to free. We'll talk uh, about that later. But it makes the best sound. I know. Burp, beep. Burp, burp. 
Something to note about the vertical levels is they're mega dangerous because if you don't know which platform is uh, solid, you could fall just by hitting down. If John hit down on that yellow platform, he would fall. Yeah. The stones are fine, the bricks are fine, um, but... Oh yeah. no. <laughs> he just pissed him off. Well, now I'm just gonna murder him. So he's gonna be really pissed off. Are you going to... You're gonna have to grind a little bit. I'm a little worried about my health for grinding, but yeah. Well, you're gonna have to get better. Is he invisible when he's freaking out? I always think yes. People say no, but I always thought that he was. That's a good way to do it. Just go back and forth. <laughs> That's what I do. He's only a baby, John. Listen, we've actually kind of grown up in the world. We started with babies in now, Super now, Mario 3. Now we are like... Now we're kids. <laughs> we're kid -ickers. We're an eight-year-old. Yeah, so you could just take your time. So he's gonna turn and then turn again. Oh, no, you, right, you didn't twice. wait. He turns twice. God, these damn reapers. Soon, you'll, if you get all the health upgrades, and I'll try to explain it as we go, they'll only take a couple hits and it won't be that bad. It's just that we're really weak right now. <laughs> John has no patience. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. If I keep just one on screen, he doesn't summon any more. He won't summon them if he doesn't see you. Well, I mean, also that, but... So you could just do it the right way so he doesn't see you. You got him. That's another trick you can try. So your score is set. So here's the thing. Ooh, I need ten, is it 10,000 or 20,000? 20,000. Oh, God. I'm going to show you a good place to grind, okay? Isn't it like right up here? It is. So see that tree up there? Yeah. When you step on that, there might be some guys that come out of the ground. There they are. Don't worry. Step right there and stay there. Um, and there should be some guys that come. They shouldn't usually spawn at the tree, but they may. If they do, just jump. And you can... Yeah, see, so this is a grinding spot that I would recommend. Some people are really ambitious and they go for 50,000 in this first world. If you do that and you reach the end of the world, you'll get two health upgrades, but it does take time. So it's really up to John what he wants to do. I'm good with just the 20. That's we'll, fine. We'll likely get enough in the next If you anyways. plan on getting enough score, Shit. it's okay. You're all right. Um, if, if you get enough score before you hit the end of the stage on each stage, you'll you'll get the necessary- no! Oh no! There it is. So- I'm finished. I'm finished. It, the game's hard. <laughs> if you want to follow along with us, so, there, there was the thing. So yeah. now he starts off with nothing. He has to do it all over yeah. again. That's okay. This game is literally a game that gets easier the more, like, the farther along it's the game really you get. It's really weird. It's so I would, weird. I would say that the end boss is the easiest boss Absolutely. in the entire game. Absolutely. Isn't it weird? Like. I'm not sure why they went for this, but I think they're doing it because it's kind of like a Hades sort of thing, where, like, it starts out so hard, but the more power-ups you get and the longer you try at it, you're more equipped. Well, it's not even getting experience. It's literally like, yeah, you just, if you started with more health, it would be easier. It's literally that. Like, the next stage will be way easier because we have health. Well, that, but, I, but you do have to work to get the health and the skill points for strength up. Yeah. We haven't really talked about strength up yet. That's what I talked about with the skill. The more enemies that John kills and grabs the hearts for, the more skill points he's acquiring. Again, it, there's not really a place where you can look to see what you're you're doing. And then when you enter certain rooms, a very helpful god will show up and be like, oh my god, you've leveled up so far. Here's some more power. And then he changes color and you, your your strength is, is higher and your arrows do more damage, pretty much. Is what and your it color is. changes too. It does. It does change. That's how you can keep track of like where you are. Get, get over here. You can just leave him on the screen because he's going to turn to a hammer. Well, no, because he'll summon four if I kill him off. And then I'll get more with the, oh, the heart. This is true. One way to keep the enemies or from... Or not? Yeah, you gotta go up higher. There they come. Um, one of the ways if you're having trouble with enemies is to keep one on the screen if you can, because when they come in waves like that, if you leave the last one alive, normally they won't spawn the wave again until the heart is picked up from the last enemy, if that makes sense. Now, you don't have to do the spec noses if you don't want to. Uh, it's just, like, for money, really. I don't think you get skill from them. And I'm almost positive that you don't. Stand in the I'm middle. I'm sure I get score, though. 5,200? Oh, I don't. No. Ooh, okay. No score, no skill. You just get money. Well, so if you're ever I not the money. Yeah, so. if you're ever not confident about this, you don't have to do this. There is another endurance training that you, you do have to do, or else you won't get um, special powers. We'll talk about that later. Sorry, it's a lot of information. And the thing is, is this game really only... It only matters in the beginning, and then once you start getting everything, you're golden. Yeah. You're just ready to go. <laughs> so Here's the thing. World 2 doesn't even have pits you can fall into. Like, literally, it's just no, stage 1. No, it's, it's horizontal. Hard. Honestly, a lot of people agree, and so do I, that they should have made the first level a horizontal scrolling level, like people were more used to back in the day. 
Uh, it's just so people could have gotten used to the difficulty of this game and, like, how it works. Um, but no. They wanted to simulate, uh, Pit going through... Really? God, I, I have to just, like, keep referring to Hades, I guess. <laughs> where I mean, you start... it's, it's the same character. Hades literally shows up in, in Uprising. Yep. I mean, this is all Greek, so same thing, right? Same thing. It's all Greek to me. Same, same. Also, get the potions before you enter the door. They won't be there when you come back. Okay, so let's do it correctly this time. Uh, right. Top left. Okay, so now that I know you're doing left to right for your counting. that Because that's one. Top left is considered one. That uh, one over there is two, so this yeah, is three. That's right. Okay. That one. Down. And All eight. the way to the right. One, three, and eight. Mm -hmm. How many? No hammers. No. Okay, so zero, I think, is... I know it's not the same spot, so I can no, already it is, break... No, it is not. I can already break two, no problem. But you have to be, yeah, so let me think. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking. I had to do, I had to look all this up for Late Night Retro at some point. I think Did it's you? the middle. Hang on, though. Uh, yeah, that could be World 2, because I know World 2 has a different pattern. World 2 and 3 are different. World 1 is, is on its own. Um, if it's 0, I think the position is 7. So 7 so is bottom there. left. Okay. Don't hit that one. Everything but bottom left, and let's see what you get. You can get a myriad of items. The barrel is honestly the best one to get. We got, got the credit, credit card. Because you don't have the barrel anymore, right? No. No, it's gone. So. Just to show. Yeah, yeah it's gone. okay. The barrel would have been better. The credit card. Honestly, I don't find it useful. It's going to get us in trouble. Is we're what it's we're gonna do. we're gonna have enough money because we're purposely gonna collect hearts because we know that we need the money and we need the skill points collecting them. So. It basically lets you buy something on something called the black market when you don't even have enough money to pay for it. It's literally a credit card. It but, is literally a credit card. But you are not card. allowed to accrue hearts later. Oh no, look, he's glitched. <laughs> oh, he's stuck forever like the cask of Amontillado. He's gone. That's okay. I wonder if he's gonna... Wait. Fine, I'll do it the correct way. Wait, there you go. Now you can do it. He does this little, like, two turn. One. <laughs> two. Yeah. He does a little dance. Beep. Oh, he's, he's testing you. I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I have no idea either. Oh, no. Uh, I wouldn't even hit I him. I don't even think I can hit him. Try to jump. Oh. I can. Oh. oh, he's not. Yeah, he's, he's fine. <laughs> this is fine. You're Breaking putting, as intended. You're putting him out of his misery. You're doing a good job. But yeah, like I said, this is representing Pit going through uh, his trials and tribulations, going through the underworld all the way up to the Palace of the Sky, where, of course, if you know anything about Greek mythology, that's where the gods live. Um... And, and we're going to free all of the gods in the sky from Medusa. That's that's the story that we're going with. And to do that, Pit has to get stronger on his journey. And he'll get some help along the way, and we'll meet some folks along the way that mm, sometimes help us and sometimes don't. And he's got a lot of uh, challenges. He's a kid. He's not a baby, though. One step up from being a baby. He surprisingly is not an Icarus, though, because... He doesn't have, like, so... He has wings, but he can't fly. Yeah, that's the closest thing they have to Icarus is, is that. Because he's a he's a kid. The funny thing is, there's actually, like, an actual reference to the story of Icarus in the second game. There is. In Of Myths and Monsters. I think they did better kind of fleshing out the story in Myths and Monsters, because this just has nothing. This is kind of like Metroid, where you've just got nothing, which was really a... Which was the style at I mean, the time. I was going to say, this is 1988. You're, you're lucky is, if you got a story This is this similar point. to a Metroidvania. Not as in-depth as Metroid, but, you know, it's following that. So it's kind of along the same wheelhouse. And I think they just wanted the vertical to kind of go with that. To, like, look what our game can do. It's all vertical and cool. And no one else has games like this right now. Well, except Metroid, really. But, yeah. So, oh my god. Me and my brother played this so many hours. I mean, just hours worth of just getting upset. What's your score like, looking? Once once you're safe. 15,000. You're getting there. Yeah, almost. I wouldn't even leave until you have 20, just to make sure that you covered it. But if you feel good about it, because the... I'm getting 300 per, so... Yeah, it, because the, the ending is coming up shortly. I'm pretty sure it's, like, literally above us. You absolutely want to make sure that you do not s go through the ends of these things without the necessary score to get your health up. And the other thing you want to worry about in future levels, which I'll talk about, is you don't want to walk through the door with 999 hearts almost ever. Because if you do that, you're not going to be able to create skill points. Here's the thing. If you have full hearts, which is 999, and you still- Ah, oh, damn it! It's okay. I hadn't been hit that entire time. No, you did really good. But listen, this game is hard. <laughs> this is why you're playing it. Um, 
If you if you have 999 hearts and you don't spend it, and you're trying to collect your skill by killing enemies and grabbing the hearts, it doesn't count once you're full. So two more. You got this. You got this. This is a really really good place to grind. And if you want to play along with us and and all that, this is what I suggest you do. You're good. You're golden. So when he walks through the end of this stage, which is right up there, how many hits does that guy take? A oh, lot. Bye. A lot. A lot. He's out. Here you go. Careful, there might be one up here. Yeah, I'll make it time. Oh, you're good. Now he's gonna get a health up extension. So make sure you're counting your score. Power, Power up. up! I hate that it's not centered. I'm gonna scream about this <laughs> until the end of my days. You know what I hate? The fact that they don't heal you between stages. Oh, they are. They... But here's the thing. Once you start a new stage, you can just fuck off. You can die right here and start with more health if you wanted to. That's because true. when you start a new stage, you start with nothing. You keep your items that you had in the last one. Um, and you keep your heart score, I believe, don't you? Yeah, you keep your hearts. Yeah, so it, it really, it's okay to die here if you wanted to. Totally up to you. You could also die here to get, like, the password if you wanted to start here with the grinding that we did. So it's really just a choice of what you want to do. Uh, I, I refer... Blah, blah, blah. If I remember, you don't start with full health. They only give you, No, like, they only give you, like, one and one a half block. bars. We'll, we'll do it with the We'll do it, we'll set. do it. I, that's what I would do. I'm finished. How come that's centered? There's the words if you want to play along Oh, it with did us. give me two. Yep. That's two is the max. So when you start over, two is the max you can start with. I thought it was only gave you one. Never mind. Nope. Well, that's way better. It's way better, right? Well done. Right, so now we need 50,000 for our next we one. We do. So you're going to have to... But there's a lot of enemies in here, so it should be doable. Should be. And we should be getting our first strength upgrade on this stage, too, if memory serves. Uh, if we've been killing enough things, and if you're There's never... There's no way we haven't. If, There's well, no way if, we if haven't. If you're never sure, then just keep going, I guess, is, is what... And you can hang out here and kill things, wait till your health is low, and then grab the chalice. Just make sure you don't go through the door, because if you do, it disappears. Oh my god. Mono eyes and shamans all over the place. These damn snakes. Snack. Snack. Snack on a snack. <laughs> I hope this is not going to be, like, too informative of me and less funny. I am not funny when I'm informative. There you go. We'll, we'll tap out there. That should be enough. It's spec noses again. It is. So stay stay middle. Yeah, m middle under the thing is usually where I stay. Because you can usually get the horizontal ones very easily. I usually stand, like, right where I'm standing right now. <clears throat> so. mm -hmm. Wherever it you mostly want. works. Again, this is just for money. So, no skill, no score from these. Well, actually, I think maybe skill. You know, I'm not sure, actually. Don't know about skill, but yeah, no It, no it doesn't points. show anything, so, unfortunately. The only way you know how much skill you have is how many arrows you have. We only have one, which means our, our hit power is at one. Our damage is one. Won't change until we see a god to help us in a door. And pray that we have enough. Now, if you don't have enough and you go through the door, he just doesn't show up. Just like that first door that we saw. Yeah, because I think that first door is a god door. It is him, but only if you do the New Game Plus. Alright, I'm not in the best sorts right you just now. Gotta, you just gotta watch them and take your time. It's gonna be okay. Burr, burr, burr. By the way, don't do it, but if you hit down on these, you will fall down to the next platform below you. Or fall like to that. Yep. So be careful. I always say in Kitagris, never press down unless you are sure that you are on solid ground, which is usually just fortresses and bricks. All right, what do you say? Try buying for me. This guy is the black market. The way you can tell is the way he talks. John could buy the barrel, and he probably should. Yeah. Um, but there's two different kinds of merchants in this game. One is the black market. It's the guy here that's being kind of rude. And then there's another helpful shop owner. We haven't met him yet. So the black market is always the most expensive. You cannot do anything about it. So what do you say? Uh, this, this guy is not the one with the trick? No, you can't do it with him. You okay. can never uh, intimidate the black market. John's talking about an intimidation trick. Ha, ha, ha. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, sir. Thanks. <laughs> no. Are you, are you, you, you nothing? No. Hello? Hello? Okay. They do, they do restock. Um, not, not that I had the but, money for it. But, but yeah. not here. They do it in fortresses only. 
We'll talk about that when we get. Sorry, I'm like getting ahead of myself. It's really hard not to get ahead of yourself. This is why I don't plan scripts because like <laughs> I'm like here's something you could do, and then here's something, and it's not. I'm even, glad you're the one who's being informative on this one, so I can just kind of chill. Not even this related. This is great for me. Hey, no, no problem. I just don't think I'm very funny when I'm being informative because it's like who the hell wants to hear me being informative, John? Like nobody. I'm enjoying this. Are you? Yeah. Careful. Careful. Oh, oh. he can't see me like that. Oh, he absolutely can. I thought I th actually thought you were doing like the thing <laughs> that you were supposed to do. I was like, hell, but he's got it. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Can I just tell you that this music lives rent free in my freaking head? This is like yeah. the earworm of all NES earworms right here. This is one of the the biggest and greatest. So you should listen to the Kickers Uprising version. Grab that chalice before you oh, go right, in. Yeah. Make sure, because it'll disappear. I almost didn't. Alright. Again? Oh yeah, I forgot that there's two. They really want you to start thinking about collecting hearts. Again, if you're not confident with this and you'd rather fight the enemies outside, then do that. This is only if you, but I'm telling you, if you stay on the bottom in the, towards the middle, John's a little more to the right uh, than I would like, but, and you just watch their patterns, the left and right ones come at you, you can hit them easily, and then you can see where these are going back and forth and just grab them. But it is a good way to get money. You also get skill for going oh, into you, you, going into oh, rooms. going into door, right? Yeah, you do. You do. It's hidden. I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't remember how much it is. A hundred, maybe. How do you stop from but sliding in the ice? See how John is wasting his arrows? That's not something I would recommend doing. Okay. Uh, the ice has obviously ice physics on it, but if you up, hold up, press you stop. up. Yeah. Don't don't shoot your arrows willy nilly. I couldn't remember if it was the arrow shooting you that stopped waste, it from moving. You will not. waste skill. Ten skill per arrow, which doesn't seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, if you're just going haywire and bashing it, you're probably gonna do some detriment to your score. Sorry, your skill. Score is something you can see. Skill is not. It's always. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of what everything costs. I want to say that taking damage is negative 300. So you also don't want to take too much damage if you can hit. Firing an arrow is definitely 10. All right, regular shot. Now we can't do anything with him yet because we're still only strength one. You can buy something if you want to, but- um, uh, The only thing I can afford is, is this. I wouldn't buy that. Yeah. Yeah, no, save it for later. Uh, the feather keeps you from one falling death. And the potion, you can only hold one unless you have the barrel. John bought the barrel so he can buy his, up to, uh, I believe, eight or nine of them. And they just get used automatically, which is nice. Um, you can haggle with those nice salesmen, but not until you're stronger than them. What that means is, is if John gets a power-up now, and we still remain in this world and we see another merchant, he can haggle with them to get a better price. But only if he's stronger than them. I didn't know that was actually how that worked. That is how was, it works. I thought it was a random chance. Nope. It's it's how it works. So it, we're in stage one, one. Well, one, two, actually. So we have to be strength two to haggle over the merchants that are in one. It doesn't work for the black market merchant, unfortunately. But it will work for the friendly guy. Um, now, if you're not, if you're below, if you're only skill one or strength one at this point and you tried to haggle, he will raise the price. So don't even do it. We'll show you how to do it once we're able to do it. Is anyone learning anything from this? I'm the worst teacher I'm ever. learning. I'm learning. Hi, what? Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> See those cabbages? We always called them cabbages. You can't fall through those. You can't fall the through the brick. powerful cabbage. Be careful on the platforms. I'm almost positive you can fall through those. Wait, nope. no. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. The ice, absolutely. Yeah, I already did that earlier. The ice and the ones that look like sand. All right, sorry, Mr. Reaper. Yeah, no, there's really no way to... Yeah, I usually, I would just pass him by. Yeah, kill these and just go for it. Doopy doo doo. Scoopy doo. You're not in a place. Okay. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I love it so much. It's so dumb. The Reaper's just a, a crazy. They're just a crazy person. We're on points. Uh, uh, not enough. Oh, no. We need a lot more score, in fact. Uh. Could grind here. You might not be able to get a power up every time. You could. Are you gonna go for it? I don't think it's worth it. We'll get it at the end of one three at the very least. We will. Oh, these things. Oh, those are called. Oh shoot. Cap. Cap. Oh, they're way stronger than I remember. They are very strong. I think they take three hits. I think they're called Camilus. Hello. 
It's Jesus! Glad he's... you came, Pit. Here, take this. He's the helpful god, so when you come in and now you're green, he's just giving you a strength up. It's not Zeus, it's Jesus! Jesus. I think it actually is Zeus it's in the game It's supposed to be Jesus. Tell me that dude didn't look just it, like Jesus. It kind of looks like Jesus. Also, why was the text off center? I will never stop screaming about that. How hard could it have been? To freaking do that! Now they're only gonna take two hits, but they also do. Yeah, see. Yeah, one hit, actually. Oh, one hit. Okay, then they took two. So John is now green, which means he has the power of something. Power of mold. So now his skill points have been reset, essentially. So. Even forty thousand. You, you would have needed fifty thousand to get the power up here. Yep. It's up to you if you would have wanted to go for it. You yeah. can't. I mean, you can even get the 50,000 power up in the first level if you sit there and grind all day. Yeah, you absolutely no. can. I want to ask, we gotta, can't do the entire video grinding. No, I know. I'm just saying that people at home could do that. They totally could. If they wanted to. Uh, this stage is kind of like, you know. Yeah. Do -do -do. This should be the first chance to get an actual weapon. If memory serves. Yes, there's gonna be something called an endurance room. It's kind of like the spec nose room. Uh, the god Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Throws a bunch of shit at you and he says, Can you survive? And all you have to do is survive. You don't even have to kill the stuff. Here's a tip stand on top of the. Oh, there's spec noses in this one. Um, for the. Well, I'll give you the tip when you get in there. For, there's a tip for the first one anyway. There's like a kind of a cheat sort of thing. I don't think with the endurance ones you also collect score and skill, but we'll have to test that because I'm honestly not sure anymore. But if, much like the enemies on the Outworld, if you kill some of the monoliths in the endurance chamber, which we'll get to, and you leave the heart, it doesn't come back. So you can save yourself a beating if you leave some hearts there for a while. Up to you, though. That is the tip that I have. Also, stand above the door because they barely hit you there. Do, do. Happy birthday, Happy Pit! Happy birthday, Pit! Hey! Remember, you can fall down these sandy things, what, sandy platforms. I just yeah. call them sand. Sand. Sky I'm, sand. I mean, they're yellow. Don't fall into the red lava. That's bad. All right. Hot Kool-Aid. <clears throat> no Kool-Aid. No death water. I know that's an old John reference. I had to dig it up. You had to dig it up. It was dead. I had to brush the cobwebs off water. that one. Death water. I, mean, I got a death water shirt coming out eventually. I mean, I, w I would wear it. <laughs> Don't worry about these little alien bug men. They're just here to look menacingly. <laughs> I menacingly! I think they're kind of creepy. All right. Yep, here we have everything. Now, do you want to try the, the thing? Sure. Okay, so if you want to try to haggle, here's what you do. You, you have to have the second controller plugged in. I think this works on anything. It should work here. And you hit B and A together. I guess I can't win. Why oh, wow. is your text off center? I have never seen that. That's awesome. So you're basically bullying him because if you think about it, you have to be stronger than him to make this work, which means you probably punched him in the face. And now he's like, Jesus I can't imagine Christ. Pit punching anyone in the face despite he gets claws and uprising. He's like, Jesus Christ, get out of my store. And he will renew it if you want to buy more. So if you had a lot of money at this point, mm. you could do this a couple of times. I mean, you want to do it again because I might I grab the health recharge. Uh, I hope. Oh, God, I hope I'm right and it does work a second well, time. Well, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't work a second time, we can just leave. Uh, <laughs> punched him in the face again. Bitch! Hey, why isn't it centered, John? <laughs> it pisses me off so fucking bad. They, they centered the numbers. Who did that? Whoever did that at Nintendo, you are the bane of- This is how I knew that I was kind of OCD as a child, I think, because that- <laughs> that, um, that almost ended my life. I was- I- oh, my brother's like, who cares? And I'm like, no, it matters. It matters to me. I think you want to go on the right, because I think the left has- Yeah, those spiky things. You don't want to tangle with those, especially right now. Those spiky things sticking out of the wall when you make a jump near them can kind of entangle you, and they hurt you. It's really, their hitbox is odd, and it's very easy to get stuck on them, and they hurt. So uh, when you're here, come up the right way, and it'll be a little bit easier. And there's a door, too, that you, you don't want to miss. I don't remember what's in there. I mean, you can get to the door the other way, because you can wrap around, but That yeah. is true. But you don't want to deal I with I want to say this is a jar? I think it is a jar. It's not a door, John. It's a jar. Okay, it's hang on. Jar. Well, it's the same thing. Still World 1. Uh, this is still World 1. So it's the same ones that you did before at the top. 
The one, one, the one below like it. One, three, and eight. Yeah, one, three, and eight. You're getting it. You're getting it. How many mallets two do we have? Two this time. We have two. So it's going to be in position four. So, so right here. That one don't hit. Hit every other one. You guys getting it? How you would know this? You would only know this if you had uh, the manual or the Nintendo Power that came out about this. Nice. You got a Alcohol. potion to put in your barrel. It is pretty much wine. It's supposed to be ambrosia, I'm pretty sure. It, it, they don't say. If you got the Nintendo Power episode with this, it explains everything. Like, sh shit that they really should have maybe explained to you somewhere in the game. There, I got two potions in my barrel. Did you notice that your score does reset? So Yeah. Yeah, you're well, doing good, so, though. Yeah, but total it's total is, accumulation. Total is banked and score is and what you have can, on the Wait, stage. can you go back to the pause screen? Now you can see that John has two arrows instead of one. That means he got the strength upgrade. His hits are now worth two. So that's how you do it. And you got the credit card, so you're in a pretty good spot. Not that we're ever probably going to use the credit card. Hopefully not going to need the credit card. You're not going to need it if we do this correctly. There's a lot of good places to grind for items um, in the next levels, so... I think you're in a good spot. I think you're pretty good. Doodly doo. Just trying to remember where the next door is. I'm okay. also having trouble remembering that, but we'll figure it out. Again, I remember the stupidest shit. Like the pots. The order of the pots. This is the same thing in Mario 3 with the end card. But ask me to actually play this game? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I do know the way to go in the fortress, so we're okay there as well. Yeah, that I don't remember. Don't let those things, those little grabby tentacles, don't let those hit you. Jump way over them, as more than you probably think you need to, just in case. I always don't, I don't like those. I, oh, wait, here they come. Oh, boy. Come it's, on up. Come on up, boys. You can try to kill them and leave their hearts, but they will come back, because you're just scrolling up so that you'll, you'll lose them. So, it, you know, it's really... I don't want their hearts. I want their you souls. You do, you do. You want, you want the skill. Their soul is mine. I don't wonder how much of a soul they have. I mean, they're little octorocks, kind of. Aren't they? They're like little, they're essentially. Yeah, little octopi. I believe they're called Camilus, these guys. The, the names make no sense. I, I literally have, when we got the Nintendo Power that had this in it eventually. Um, and we looked at all like the names that they were calling and we're like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So the snakes are shaman. I think those are called Camilus. Which I don't even know what that means. I don't even know if it's a thing. I don't uh, know if it's it a probably Greek is thing like based or... off of Japanese, so Kami usually means God. Yeah. Get that and collect all the hammers you can. Yeah, about that. Well, any is good because it doesn't They're have. are not in the best spots. It doesn't yeah. have enemies, so you're good. Here's where John's gonna have to be careful. Let the shaman go, and I would probably try to leave a heart if you can, so that they don't drop on you while you're trying to do this. <laughs> Don't let those touch you. Oh, I thought I could barely do that jump. You oh, got God. it, you got it, you got it. You're doing good. scoop it doo yep. Now you kind of have to move a little. Oh. It's going to catch up. We're good, we're good, we're good. You're we're good, right, you're good, you're right. good. Turn around, pit. Uh oh Oh my God, there's a lot happening. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm going to have my health extension at this rate. I think so. What What are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, we got good, the health good, extension. Good, good, no perfect. problem. I would definitely suggest to have two health extensions before you go into 1-3. Or the fortress, I should say. I was gonna say we are in one. We three. are in one three technically. I always call the fortress three. It's four. Might be. I need. I. Oh, this is not a good place for you to be. This I don't is think. really not a good place for me to be. I would probably go up a little bit more. And we got we got wine. We're you, fine. You've got a, a little. Yeah, but you don't want to waste it. You don't want to waste it. Hello. Now here's the black market. We cannot intimidate this guy, so I would say don't even bother. We can't afford anything anyway. Unless we use the credit card, but then we got to pay back. Don't. It's not the worth credit it. Card. You don't need it yet. <laughs> If you had some more money, you would, I would say buy the potion because there's no point. But you can also buy things in the fortress. And I believe that the fortress people can be haggled with. So the problem is, is that most of the fortress things are either temporary items that only work in the fortress or just stuff that isn't going to be too useful to you. you like the worst spot. Yeah, this is bad. Stay up there. Or not. Or not. Take your life into your hands, John. You're only a kid. A kid has nothing to lose. All of Olympia is like counting on a kid. What could go wrong? It's fine. Palutena doesn't. Even, she can't even bother. Oh, I mean, the bad. We're back calling that. That's all right. It's all right. The other way. Yeah, you're supposed to go the. It's okay. It's a shortcut. I hope you make it. Is all I'm gonna say. Be careful. The shaman are gonna fall on you at some point here. So just be a little careful. Be aware that they're gonna come down and get ready to react if they do. Um. Yeah, Palutena is in this game, but uh, she does nothing. I, uh, she shows up... At the end. Spoiler, at the end. Because <laughs> she does absolutely nothing. That's what she do. How are you 
do this, how are you gonna field this? You're gonna wait and just jump over him? That's probably, probably what I would do. <laughs> I don't know how this works. How I'm over here, you can't see me. This is like some kind of portal shit. <laughs> what was that? Well, I got stabbed, that was weird. What was that noise? <laughs> nice. Now it's time. Okay, Can stand, you stand on top of the door. On top of the door? Yes. It's hard. Don't go training. don't go out the door. And this should give you a little bit of leeway. Leave the hearts, honestly, because you you're not here to collect points or hearts. You're just here to survive it, and this is not he's not in a good place. But your bottle helped you, so you're good. Um Check your score. Are you allowed to in here? Two four two. Okay. No. Nope. No. Okay, so no score. You just have to survive. S pick a place that seems safe and just stay there. I wouldn't I, I have done. It, I usually prefer the middle, honestly. Okay. All right, and Jesus, if you if you can do this, then Jesus is going to give you your choice of special weapons. Now you need to have all of them by the end of the game. I would honestly get the crystal. That's best for first time players. That's, so, that's the halo of crystals around you. So a question for you. In, yes. I'm pretty sure in the Game Boy 1, you had to have two for the fire, three for the bow, and four for the crystal. Is it, it is, just the order you get them in it affects them? It is not that way here. You have to just have enough strength to use it. Okay, so Which just, is three. So grab the crystal. I would. All you right. can't use it yet, I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Once John gets the next strength up... Um, or sorry, I think it's... Uh, it's health. It's, it's health. health up. Yeah, once John gets the next health up... It'll be used automatically. Careful! God damn it! Okay, careful. Oh I'm God. trying to fight the Grim Reaper! No, the. Oh, God. He's blocking the way. I have the way. Yeah. These things are so annoying. Yeah, that's what I would do. Once you get strong enough, you can kind of just brute force it. Oh, God. Well there done. We go. Now one's gonna come up again. They're gonna come up all the way through, so be careful. Just run. <laughs> you got enough? Yeah, next power up. Here we go. Power up. Now, what do we need for the next one? Is it 100,000? Yes. Oof. Why is it off center, John? <laughs> Did the pains me? Okay, in the next one, I hope this was fun. I will try to be more funny as informative. Sorry if I'm not. I, my mind is cluttered. I want to make sure everyone knows about this game because I love it so much. I will help John get through. This is the first fortress of the game. Boss and everything. I'll show you how we do it in the next one. Are you having fun? Yep. I am too. Oh! You just wasted it, maybe. You just want to do the noise? Parker? Parker? It's like a toy hammer. Parker? <laughs> Listen, he's only a kid. He has to play with toys sometimes. 